Hi, I'm Anibal Lopez. I'm here again to bring you another training tip. Now, on tip number three, I show you how to do sit-ups or crunches, how to do your lower abdominal by doing the hip curls, different positions. I'm going to demonstrate to you the same exercises but in a different form. I call this more of an advanced stage uh, way of doing this exercise. To do, this, uh, to do it this way, you need, I have a special bench here that I built in my gym where I am able to angle it. If you remember, this bench was flat, but now I am able to put it in an incline position where I'm going to show you how to do crunches in a decline position. Same, same effect, except that this time, this bench has a special handle here for either holding yourself or anchoring my legs here. What I do is I put my the heels on here and I support myself when I'm in the decline position. As I do that exercise, as I come up, I hold myself within my ankles. But let me show you how it's done. Okay? Now I know that you don't have a bench like this because it's a special, you know, specially made bench that I made for myself here. But most of the gyms a lot of gyms have sit-up boards, and you could do it in the sit-up board too. If you're at home, you're going to have to rig up something, but you have to be very careful that it's safe. But this exercise is also very effective. What I do with all this core and abdominal exercise that I have brought to you in tip number one, number two, number three, and this is number four now, is that you don't have, you're not going to do them all at once, but it's good that you mix them up at different stages of your workout. So you work all the way around. Don't try to do them all in one exercise. I would suggest, I would suggest that you do two, no more than three in one session. So you mix them up. This way you constantly work your abdominal area or your core from different angles. This is what the crunch in a decline position looks like. I told you that I anchor my heels are on here. I come back, and you notice that my legs, my knees are bent. I maintain that the bent position all the time. Same thing, elbows back, head away, and you exhale on your way up, and this is what it looks like. So, I come up, only my shoulders come up, and I, I pause, and I extend. As I go all the way down to the bottom, you notice that I suck my stomach in. Pause. It's not, it's not this. It's this. And I hold myself in my heels. By doing that, your lower abdominal comes into play also. So this is how you do this exercise. Exhale, inhale. And stop. I'm going to get up. Now, I'm going to turn this bench around to show you the other side. Okay, now let me show you how we do a leg raise. Again, as I explained to you, I specifically made this bench to do the special exercises. The reason of doing uh, this exercise in this form is that I know you've seen a lot of people hanging from a chilling bar and they do leg raises. I did it too, but listen, it gets to a point where you cannot do that, and it's very difficult to do it perfect. I found out that by declining a bench in this form, I am able to have better control and I get a better workout of my, of my, of my lower abdominal. This is the way it's done. I lay down on my back, I hold on here, and if you notice, it's almost like hanging from a chimney bar. And the more I decline this bench, the more difficult it is. Unlike my knees, now you notice how my knees are bent a little bit? I maintain that position throughout the exercise, and it looks something like this. I don't go all the way up, um, come up, go down slowly, touch the bench, come up again. Down, come up a little higher, and no more than that. And you can work your distance down, you can, you can do it right here, this. Try doing this and you'll see. And then you come up again, 
right there, no higher than that, and down again. Up and down, and when you finish, that's it. Do as many as you can. If you happen to do a lot, ankle weight. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next training tip.